what's good jam chulo back with another video in my cribbo <laughs> okay this video is on the mind is a thought factory so much thinking so much thinking i mean as you go about your day your mind's gonna think thoughts uh they just pop up you can't control your thoughts 100 percent and that's okay but you can quiet down the mind slow them down slow down the thoughts you can make them um, more precise into like the present moment into what you're doing you can make them more clear more crisp more helpful and that's my main my, my main way through that is meditation which has really helped me a lot um, you know also different breathing techniques and exercises but that is a different video with 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day I think it's confirmed that like most of the thoughts are negative right for the average person uh, most most of the thinking is negative with all those thoughts that that go through and that's wild. That's pretty crazy, right? All those thoughts and most of them are negative so first we have to understand that We can't they, they, they will pop up But the ones that you pay attention to should be the positive ones and then over time not really over time But the more you do it the more you focus on the positive thoughts as cliche as as cliche and hippie as it sounds the more your brain will stay on positivity i mean it's 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 really simple logic it's very simple logic you know I, I i can confirm this right i literally if if a negative thought pops up because i've done meditation i can experience it and i can let it go in most cases maybe see there may be some times like if if a random situation that occurred in the past that was kind of negative pops in my head uh i might be a little on it for some time and then I'm able to direct my energy towards something more productive and positive. And if you don't believe me that the mind, you can't control 100% your thoughts, um, right now I want you to not think about a blue dog. You probably thought about it. And I don't want you to think about a pink gorilla. You probably thought about a pink gorilla. You know, our minds, the mind makes so many associate, so associations that boom, boom, boom. See, it just pops up. I was watching a um, a show on Netflix. It's a series. It's really nice. You guys should check it out. It's, the series is called Explained on Netflix. Basically, they explain a wide range a wide range of just human stuff. I mean, technology, mind, meditation, how things work, animals. They talk about a whole bunch of stuff. And there's an episode on OCD. How OCD people literally thoughts rush into their head and it just takes over and they have to do a certain thing for example if some kid is like OCD and uh, he's like walking and like his hand touches the fence he has to touch his other hand with that fence or he'll just start getting this anxiety about it or something bad's gonna happen there's this woman she's like a comedian and um, if she didn't do her little like OCD routine she thought something bad would happen to her family which is which is crazy um, and these are like some serious issues, some serious problems, and like people are on uh, medication for things like these. And that series really harped on meditation for those OCD uh, patients. So don't sleep on it because, okay, in meditation, the reason why I made a video on meditation, but the reason why it's so easy to give up on it in the beginning is because in the beginning, you get a rush of thoughts that just enter your mind. And those are thoughts that are always there. You were just probably distracting yourself with something else um, all the time. So you never really sit with yourself, you know, sit with your thoughts. So when you when it, when you do sit with your thoughts and, you, and all these thoughts occur, 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 and you can't quiet your mind or just observe them, you can't observe them without judgment, um, it's because they were always there. You were just not used to them. So they're just popping up now. And now you're like, oh, okay. It, it kind of got real. Uh, but you think, oh, med meditation doesn't work. It's not a magic pill. You got to be consistent with it over time. I personally recommend doing guided if you're if you're a beginner. Guided meditations are powerful as a beginner. Because you have somebody that talks you through it. And they help you really um, be aware of your body and your breathing. And you can just focus on their voice, right? Their voice dominates your whole awareness rather than your thoughts, right? Your thoughts may pop up, but you're listening to their voice and that helps you bring you to center. And then um, if you do that, like let's say you do that for two weeks, okay, now you're getting used to that. And now when you do meditation on your own, it's getting a little easier and easier and easier. 
and that helps with the factory mind the 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 thoughts that just boom push out push out push out push out it's like a conveyor belt <laughs> It's like a conveyor belt. It's crazy. Get get to meditating. Get to meditating. Like, comment, and subscribe. Send this video. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go have some dinner. Peace.